Well, we made it, folks. It is Friday, October the 8th, 2021. Thanksgiving weekend is right around the corner. So for those of you enjoying a three-day weekend, make sure it is safe and healthy and, of course, lots of fun. Jonathan Kovac and Timmons welcoming a member from Sudbury and a member from Capitalist Casing. So brings the group total to near 167 on Facebook. Thanks for being part of the show. No introductory slide for today's show, but we are on day number four of our ridge of high pressure now sitting over the Ottawa Valley. We've seen a trail of highs just scooting across the Great Lakes, providing us with some fair and mild conditions. We're on day number four. On last night's show, I talked about this frontal boundary with the cold front with a low, all that connected together near Churchill, Manitoba. This could be the come to long-term forecast influence. But for the short term, a light southerly breeze this morning at less than five. The barometer, 30.15 inches or 102.2 kilopascals, sitting steady as it was last night. 6 a.m., airport conditions, fog patches, and clear skies for Capus Casing with 7 dew point 7 humidity is 100%. Double digit lows for Moosney, 6 a.m. with 11 degrees. Temperature 7 dew point 6 at Timmins, sky clear, but you can see the temperature and dew points get closer to each other. That closes the gap with 100% relative humidity. We move forward to 7 a.m. and there's one icon I wasn't able to get on the air on this presentation, but sky clear at 7 a.m. for Timmins, temperature and dew point now the same. And at 7.14, Mild fog patches or localized fog patches affecting the Timmins area where the visibility is on the way down, where it's already down to two statute miles for capitalist casing. Uh, mist with sky clear conditions for capitalist casing, your temperature dew point the same, but look at that beautiful way to start your day in Moosonee with 11 degrees. Very similar pattern to what we've seen all week long for the area of Moosonee. Clear skies for Smooth Rock Falls, fair skies for the areas between Matheson, Cochrane, Eureka Falls, but there's just an extra layer cloud, all with seven to eight degrees for the area of Hearst. Taking a look at the conditions for this afternoon, another 23 degree day for the most part. We're adding just an extra layer cloud or two from what we've seen all week because of that approaching disturbance. Hearst, you could see just shy of a millimeter of rainfall for today with 22 degrees for this Friday afternoon. Going into the evening forecast, we hold on to a few raindrops, so with a very impressive low of 18 degrees over there. The skies will be cloudy at Cap Casa, according to the Weather Network. 15s, 16s, and 17s with partly cloudy conditions across the rest of the viewing area. Stay tuned now for your school day forecast, including your end of day evening overnight forecast next.